All right, folks. Ooh, it's a steamy one out here, folks. Oh my God. Oh, we gotta get the grill going because there is no way in hell I'm cooking inside. We're gonna get this garage opened up, get our supplies. Oh, bring you back over here. Oh. Alright, so we're in the garage. I gotta get some charcoal. I gotta get the lighter fluid. And I gotta get some matches so that I can light this thing up. But we gotta get the grill going because, like I said, there's no way in hell I'm cooking inside. Sorry about the sun glare behind me. It's brutal out here, folks. It is brutal. How's that? Better? There we go. All right. Oh, I gotta find some place to put you guys. Let's see. Let's see how that works. There you go. Hi. All right. Let's get this grill going. Gotta get the grill going. I don't have my mic on, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. the wind doesn't even feel good but I gotta get this thing cleaned out too Grill has seen better days. It is what it is. I'm not buying anything until next year. In a sec. I'll be right back. I need more charcoal. Yummy, huh? Yummy. Alright, let's get this thing lit up. So we can get this thing hot and burned off. And yes, I'm using lighter fluid. Yeah, I know. Put a lot of I put a lot of charcoal in here because I have to cook vegetables on that side on smoke for about a half hour to 45 minutes before I put my steak on. And the steak we're doing is sous vide, so the steak only has to go on for like five minutes just to get a crust on the outside. We're doing steak and vegetables tonight. That's it, nothing else. Just steak and vegetables. Let's get our grills back on so that you can burn off. The last time I used it. Make my hands even dirtier. It's alright though. 
comes with the territory, right? One match should do it. There we go. She lit. She is lit. I'm gonna let this go about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes. And burn off all that lighter fluid. Get those coals nice and hot. Transfer some of the heat and the smoke over to the other side here. And we have a quite a breeze, so these things are gonna burn up pretty quickly. So we gotta be careful. Alright, so like I said, well, I didn't even say, but welcome back to MC's Kitchen Outdoors, folks. Today, we are making a vegetable medley with steak, lemon broil, cheap cut of meat, nice cheap cut of meat. But we got lemon broil in the sous vide right now. Going for two hours, it's gonna be nice and tender because of the sous vide. And all we're using this grill for is to cook our vegetables and to put a nice quick sear on the outside of that steak after it's finished sous vide. So we need a good hot coal bed. So that's why I wanted to get a little bit of extra coals on there today. I know it's kind of a waste because we're only cooking the steak for like five minutes on that, but I'm using these coals to give a nice smoke flavor to those vegetables. And those vegetables will probably be in there for about 45 minutes to an hour. So I hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody had a great and safe 4th of July. Oh boy, that's hot. Alright, time to put this stuff away. Get you guys inside. I'm gonna hang out inside for a little bit while this does its magic. And I'll bring you back when it's time to start cooking. Alright, folks, it's time to get our vegetables on a smoker. So I gotta try and do this with one in the hand. I gotta open up the door. Oh, there we go. Not fun. I still gotta keep you in one hand because I gotta close the door. Otherwise, we'll have flies trying to get in there. Oh, oh yeah, we got good blue smoke. Good blue smoke. So we're gonna take this tin foil off of here I'll do everything with one hand oh I gotta turn you around so you can see this and I'll tell you what's in it all right folks now there is our vegetable medley we got tomatoes, peppers, Brussels sprouts, snow peas, onions, garlic, and some nice salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of adobo on that, ve that, that vegetable medley. That's what we got going on. So let's go ahead and get this on the smoker. Oh boy. Ah. I got it on a smoker. We're gonna let this cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Let it get some of that smoke. And then we're gonna cover it back up and let it finish cooking. And then we're gonna get our steak on. Stick around folks, 
it just gets better from here. All right, folks. So, we got some storms coming in. I'm gonna take you out there in a second and let you look at what we got coming in. I got the vegetables, they're on it, they're on a the smoker, they're they're getting cooked. But I just pulled the meat out of the sous vide and I want you to see what this looks like. There it is folks. Bun and bro, sous vide. I know there's no crust on it. But this meat is cooked to 123 degrees. And we're gonna get this thing on the grill in about 30 minutes. And we're gonna put a nice crust on this bad boy. Oh yeah, I can't wait for this to happen. But in the meantime, let's go outside and take a look at what's going on out there. So we got great, great smoke going on on there right now, but this is what we got coming in right now. There's thunder and there's lightning with all of this. And it's going to make doing this quite interesting. So we'll see. I've already, I was out here before, I came out here to t just to stir up the vegetables. And wasn't paying attention, I didn't look. But I heard some thunder. I don't know if you can hear that. But I, can, I heard some thunder. And all that is coming right in, right here, right now. So we're going to get hit for the next 30 minutes or so, about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm hoping that it only lasts as long as I still need to cook these vegetables the way I'm cooking them. And we're cooking them at, right now in there it's 300 degrees. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're about to get we're about to get rained on. Oh boy. Here we go. And I just watered the garden. So trust me, the vegetables need more water. I give it a little bit two or three times a day. But we need a good soaking rain. we haven't had a good soaking rain in a while we've had spurts here and there especially here where we are we've had a lot of storms go either north or south of us nothing hit us this one's hitting us so let's get ready all right so here we are of course as I'm cooking storm is about to hit Check out those clouds behind me. Oh yeah. Hopefully there was some lightning right behind me. I don't know. But I think it's already raining. Oh yeah. I think. Oh, yep, here's the rain. These clouds are angry. <laughs> and we are about to get hit here it comes trees are blowing rain's coming down and I'm going inside to stay dry we're gonna let the vegetables cook like I said we're gonna let the vegetables cook and um, hopefully it'll be done by the time the vegetables are ready, so I can just throw the steak on and get it cooked up. It says it's only supposed to be here for about 20 minutes, so we'll see. But typical me, cooking on the grill, here comes the storm. 
All right, so I don't know what's going on with the GoPro. Give me a lot of problems. Oh, you don't want to be in that sun. There you go. So, let's bring you up to speed. We had a ton of rain. It's over. The problem is, is it cooled off this thing a lot. So I moved my vegetables into the main compartment just to get some good cook on it. It's got the smoke. I'm, I'm good with the smoke. But now I want to get it cooked. Especially the Brussels sprouts. Because you know how those can be if they're not cooked. Man, they can be bitter as hell. But, so, I'll quickly show you what we got going on. And in about 10 minutes, I am going to put the steak on because I'm starving. I am absolutely starving. So, steak is going on very shortly. You can get that nice and crispy on the outside and nice and rare on the inside. Because that's the way we like it. Right here on MC's Kitchen Outdoors. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, you hear that? We got more coming in, so unfortunately there's more coming in, so I need to kind of rush what we got going on here. So the vegetables are close. They're just not where I would like them. There you go. We're going to throw them to the back and we're going to get the steak on right on the front. So, yeah, I kind of, I kind of have to rush. I kind of have to rush this because we got more storms coming in. Yeah, it looks beautiful right now. The sun's out. Literally, almost all the rain that hit the floor hit the ground. You can see it steaming off. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's steaming off. It's almost bone dry already. So we're gonna we're gonna get this steak on right now. So here you go. Steak is on. Vegetables in the back. We're gonna try and get them flesh burned up. A little bit of a little bit of caramelization, but we got our steaks on. So we're gonna leave this thing open now because all we want to do is take this meat and get a crust on the outside. I'm gonna be turning these things literally every 30 seconds just because I don't want them to burn. I want a good, nice crust. So we'll, we'll bring you back when all this is done. I've been working with all right, folks, for the last three we're up. Vegetables are done. Steak looks so much better. So we're gonna cut the steak up now. We're gonna eat some dinner. So I'm starving. All right, folks. Here's our meat. Look at the color on that. Medium rare, more like rare, which is freaking perfect. This is what we're eating tonight, folks. I left the big one. I just cut the small one up for now. Oh yeah. All right, folks. I know it's not the best plating job, but I'm starving. I'm going to eat this thing right now. I am going to inhale this. Oh, should be interesting, folks. Fork. We're going to go for some veg first. Wow. 
That's good. Smoked vegetables. Mmm. Still has a great crisp to it. Oh. The snow peas, the Brussels sprouts, the carrots. Oh. Onion. Alright, time to try the steak. Look at the color on that steak, folks. Not for nothing. London broil, sous vide, then a nice crust put on it, out on a grill with that charcoal. Oh, it's out of this world. You would think you're not going to get London broil tender. Oh, this is tender, folks. It's almost like filet mignon. It really is. Sous vide does some incredible stuff to the meat. To meat. <clears throat> so you don't have to buy expensive cuts to get that tenderness. Just sous vide it. Mm. All right, folks. I'm going to devour this. Thank you for watching the video. Wow. You guys stay safe. You take care. And we'll, of course, we'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.